This outspeeds everything now. This is so scary. Pokemon Blaze Black is an incredibly difficult version of Pokemon Black. It makes all of the fights much harder, gives all the gym leaders six Pokemon, turns some of the boss fights into double battles, but also makes a lot more Pokemon available to you as the player. I cannot believe that didn't kill. I cannot believe that that didn't kill. Are you serious? Those are some of the unluckiest crits I've ever seen. I, this is a reset, I can't win against Berg now. This ROM hack is made by legendary hack maker Dreano, and I highly recommend his work. I think this is his best ROM hack for challenge running purposes. I attempted to play this game with my hardcore Nuzlocke rules. I can only catch the first Pokemon that I encounter on every route, and if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead and I can't use it anymore. Additionally, I can also not use items in battle, I can't overlevel the next gym leader, and I have to play on set mode. If you click on the video in your top right corner, you will see me failing this challenge for 40 attempts. I can't believe this happened to me again. I cannot believe this happened to me again. I'm Pokemon Challenges. I'm probably the best Nuzlocker in the world. And this is Pokemon Blaze Black Hardcore Nuzlocke. Attempt 41. <gasps> Shiny Pidgey! We're killing his motherfucker. Get the f*** out of here. See you later, Pidgey. Give me that speedy B. Mm. What makes the early game in Blaze Black so difficult will be illustrated later, but after a couple of attempts it became very clear that Tepic was an excellent choice for this run. Adaptability is a crazy ability that makes Pig Knights and Embor's fire and ground type attacks even more powerful. The strategic decision to pick Snivy on my last couple of attempts was actually not based at all upon the fact that Leaf Storm Contrary Superior with Dragon Typing and Draco Meteor is incredibly strong in the late game. It was more so based on a strategy that was developed for Lenora, and more importantly, the fact that Simapore is incredibly powerful. I feel like the first hard fight of the run is the third fight against Sharon on Route 3. My early game encounters for this attempt were Spiro and Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot is a good answer for Lenora, a fight that we'll be discussing in detail later on. Spiro is also actually decent for Lenora because it evolves within her level cap and gets Growl, which is actually one of the most important moves for that fight. Hoot Hoot deals with Staravia in this fight because I decided to lock myself into Uproar, but that comes at the price of locking myself into Uproar. An ice cream with cinnamon and something else in it. Oh my god, this is why I didn't want to Uproar. I'm losing fucking Hoot Hoot here. God damn it. Oh wait, holy shit! <laughs> well done, I live, love you! Live, 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 live! Nope, not even fucking close. The counter crit. Rest in peace, Owl City. At this point, it feels almost reset worthy to me, because the margins for beating the Lenora fight are so razor thin, but I decided to keep going because I still have a flying type and a growler and Spiro which is going to be good for Gym 3 later on. Wellspring Cave is some of the highest potential for early game encounters in this game. However, I encounter an Axu, which is extremely scary. Dual Chop Crit almost kills my Simapore here, and I try to maximize my chance for the capture, but I have to run from it. The next big fight in the run is the end fight before Lenora's Gym. It's a pretty tough double battle, mainly because of XP management at this point. And the scariest Pokemon here is Drought Vulpix, which deals immense amounts of damage with Sun Boosted Flame Bursts, and is Pursuit Trapping Zoroa. I intentionally got Spearow to the level cap here so it can be useful as Fearow, which comes in clutch here by taking out Vulpix. I want as little XP as possible on Fero, so I split as much XP as I can once I'm safe. And I've talked about this fight a lot already, but let me actually address what makes this fight so difficult. She's one of the many double battles in the game. Lenora's team is absolutely vicious. All of her Pokemon have Retaliate and are either fast or very bulky. Getting something that tanks a boosted Retaliate is next to impossible at this point in the game. So going toe for toe with Lenora trading Pokemon is extremely difficult because every other turn if you kill one of her Pokemon, you're going to get one shot by Retaliate. The strategy is for Simapore to use Tickle on my own Servine which with the contrary ability will raise its attack and defense instead of lowering it. Because her two lead Pokemon both have Intimidate, another thing that makes Lenora so damn scary because she sets your two lead Pokemon to minus two attack. Contrary also plays off of that and actually initially as Servine comes into the fight already gives it plus two attack. All right, Leech Seed 
Actually, Leech Seed Stantler first, so Herdier stays alive longer. Five head. And Tickle. Oh, this is going to come down to a speed tie, whether or not the Stantler dies now. Okay, that's good. Potentially. Please die. God damn it. Please don't target the Simapore. If he targets Simapore, it's over. He is going to target Simapore, though. He has to, because he knows he can kill it. Yep. Well, that's, um... Another dead Simapore before Berg, boys. Nice. She's gonna heal here. I can set up Firo now. Okay, kill the Stantler and work up Firo again. I can't risk not killing the Stantler this turn. I think if I do that, I just lose. Dude, how does Simapore die pre-Berg every single run? That didn't kill. Oh my god. How the fuck do I beat Berg now? <laughs> Maybe some crazy sleep powder shit? Normal gem plus six tackle, boys. The strongest tackle in the West. I think Staryu should be faster than this, right? Gotta go to Staryu. And tackle. And water gun. Oh no, I should have water gunned. I didn't know if Tackle would kill, I think I had to. But now the Herdier is gonna die. It's really bad. Please live, somehow. Nope. Uh, fuck. Um, I gotta kill the Watchog. They both targeted this- Okay! That's fine. It's completely fine. Moody. I didn't even just had Moody because I've always one-shot this. He got a speed boost. He got a fucking speed boost, boys. It's okay, I have to sleep powder with Prankster. We're all good. Nice. Woo! Okay. Let's do this, boys. I have to hit every single sleep powder, so give me some Pokemon powers for that one, boys. Smack down the Vespiquen to kill it, and sleep powder the Masquerade. Nice, that's one. Nice. Um, I think I gotta try to kill the Masquerade first because of Icy Wind and shit. And Sleep Powder, the Scallopede. Nice, that's two for two. So I just target Masquerade if it dies to, to Bullet Seed, then we're fine. And if not, then the Scallopede gets targeted. Nice. Oh, that's actually maybe not gonna kill. Yeah. Intimidate kind of fucked me there. Shit. Oh, nice! Jump off, dodge the icy wind. Okay. Let's go. All right. Sleep the Yan Mega. Smackdown. Oh, another sleep turn on Scallopede. He's gonna heal on Yan Mega's turn. I think the best thing to do with this turn is actually Leech Seed Scallopede. I think that's the only thing I can do that makes sense. Because Leech Seed damage is, isn't gonna kill Yan Mega. Okay, Scallopede, wake up, Rock Slide. Okay. Actually, crits Jump Luff. That's pretty bad. Oh, okay. Rip. Yeah, Mega sleeping though. That's good. Oh my god. We got crit again. Are you serious, dude? Okay. Unfortunate. Grand Bull in the Leech Seed slot on Scallopede is kind of huge because I can set up a, uh, I can set up a bulk up here. Um... What's he gonna send out? Heracross might be a problem, though. Oh, the Intimidate does apply after. This is fine-ish. What is Scallopede gonna do? I think it might Mega Horn. I think I got a Sec Ramp. That's decent. Okay. I could live that. Yep. Okay, that's unfortunate. Cool. Maybe killing the Leveny is better there for Leech Seed, but I don't know if I would have killed Leveny. Plus one attack on Grambles a lot though. I think I'm gonna go Crawdont to maybe draw attacks towards it. So that Granbull can live another turn. I think we live that if it doesn't crit. 
Yep. Okay, that's cool. <sighs> kind of. Nice. And then Retaliate is boosted next turn as well. Could have protected, actually. Yeah, true. Retaliate. Flinch, maybe? Nice. All right! Past Berg, baby! Lost one Pokemon more than I should have, but that's okay. The double crit on Jumpluff really hurt, I'm not gonna lie. There is another fight here that guards the mid game of Blaze Black before we finally get to get more encounters. And this Sharon fight is a rotation battle, which unfortunately is extremely RNG dependent. The worst route one Pokemon in this game is Moody Bidoof. Okay. Get that water gem boost. This might kill. Yeah, nice crit. I, I think it needed that crit though. I think that's right. It would have survived. Will Signal Beam kill this? I'll risk it. Okay. We gotta break sturdy on the boulder anyway. That's fine. I'm gonna signal beam again here. Dragon breath. Yeah, that's honestly pretty good here. Okay. Wow, that did jack shit. But now we know signal beam's definitely gonna kill Simisage. I'm gonna signal beam now. Cause whatever he rotates in is gonna die. Or it's going to be Boldor, which we can take a hit from really easily. Okay. Dude, Superior actually shits on Pig Knight, huh? Okay. Wow, Leaf Blade not too at KOing Pig Knight. Wow, that did jack fucking sh I guess Heat Crash is really bad from Pig Knight because it's so fucking light. Getting a little low. I don't know if Simisage also has acrobatics. I think we actually bust out the Grand Bull here. Okay. This is a good ass team, boys. <laughs> These guys are killing it. All right, now we just bubble beam. Easy clap, boys. Honestly, this fight is really not difficult. Another Elisa fight. We have no cheese planned for this, but I think we have a pretty good team. Hippodon is great. Superior is great. We have a good pivot in Starmie. Um, I think Manectric will do well. Tauros can revenge kill a bunch of shit. Pretty defensive team here, but let's do it. Plus speed coming in really nicely here. Don't static me. That would be really nice. Beautiful. I like the uh, yeah. I like the Starmie into Hippo line. It would be a little bit better with with Protect to get rid of more Focus Blasts, but this basically means I can just stall this out. Essentially, the idea would be to switch between these two. Strami always recovers the Focus Blast damage with Regenerator, and eventually this runs out of Focus Blasts. Uh, you can get Parrot as a ground type by Static. Also by Glare. Also by Stun Spore. Alright, got the crit. Nice. Galvantula, this has energy ball. The best switch is just Tauros into the weak energy ball. And um, and just strength. Intimidate not gonna do anything. There's the energy ball. We can extrapolate how much damage he deals from that. Um that was like 40. I think Thunderbolt kills me, right? Yeah, let's go Manectric. Okay. Oh my god. Oh ho 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 ho. Oh no 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 no. I think slow volt switch. And maybe strength kills then? I think that's the only option, right? <sighs> that's so bad. I have to sack something here, I think. Grand Bull is the least valuable Pokemon in my opinion. If anything goes, it's Grand Bull. We can sack Grand Bull and literally just kill this with Retaliate from Tauros, right? Gotcha, Liam. Okay, Miss Thunder here would be huge. Yes!
That actually kills with normal gem. Friendship grinding paying off, boys. I don't think this can do really anything to Superior. This also has Focus Blast, actually. If I remember correctly. I don't want to risk him going for an electric type move though, I'm just gonna go with Superior. Okay, he does Focus Blast. Oh baby! Contrary! Nice! We're so lucky, dude. We're so fucking lucky. Oh my god, these hacks. Elisa is seething right now. I'm plus special defense, I should stay in here. Don't crit me and we're all good. Yeah, oh, I'm definitely dead to crit now though. Okay. Starmie into Hippo and just try to hit a dig. I leave a flamethrower pretty easily, I think. I mean, I could stall it out of flamethrowers here. That's a lot of flamethrower PP. It's very boring content, not gonna lie. But keeping Hippo healthy is kind of important for the Zipstrika. This is so dumb. Turns out Regenerator is a pretty good ability, huh? <laughs> this is why Starmie is so good, guys. This should be his last flamethrower, though. Oh, that was his, he's already out. Okay, cool. Easy, boys. And now we have full HP Hippopotas. For Zebstrika. Easy 6-0, boys. It was just the optimal plan. Elisa's so mad right now. She mad. The plan is as follows. We completely stall the Hippodon out of Earthquake and Stone Edge PP. And we then proceed to set up six Dragon Dances with Kingdra. And then we need to hit a Hydro Pump on Excadrill. We just try to protect the Stone Edge here. Nice, that's one gone. We have a backup plan, guys. If we miss Hydro Pump, then Hippodon kills the extra drill, okay? That's two Stone Edges gone. Stealth Rock's up, all right. That's why we have lefties on Altaria. Let's see the Earthquake. Cringe! Cringe! Why did it Stone Edge? Why? I'm so upset. Let's heal up. Oh, I'm gonna fucking wipe, dude. Fuck me. Alright, let's go to Hippo. Maybe I should have strength there to not kill it. Oh, perfect. Okay. There's the Seismitoad. This is the most value we're gonna get out of Superior. Um. Fuck. We're so fucked, dude. I think we're gonna lose. Not having Altaria is so bad. This probably has Water Absorb, so I can't actually kill it with any of my Water types. Don't crit. Actually, even crit is fine. This is 4x resisted. Okay. Okay, and we just got a Leaf Blade and kill this. Oh god, dude, we're so fucked. We're gonna wipe. 100%. 100% wiping. I think if he goes Excadrill now, it's over. Yep. I think it's Sack something and go to Hippo. Sack who, though? I guess Tauros. Intimidate is nice, too. Okay, take the Earthquake, possibly die. We might live after Intimidate. Actually live after... Yeah, this is really, really good for us. Now just Sack the Tauros. This is minus one, so I think... um. Hippodon is always the play here. <sighs> Don't crit. Don't crit. Good shit. We win. I think we win from here. Sand Force Hippodon is pretty strong, boys. Don't need that water gem, but it's fine. <sighs> okay. And now Kingdra should clean up. Coil! We win! If we kill the Marowak. 
he just threw. Holy shit. Big fucking dub. Big fucking dub. This Marowak might not actually die to Scald. I think it was a range. Good luck. Nice. Oh shit, okay. That went horrible. The next big fight is in Charge Stone Cave. You fight N in an incredibly gimmicky fight where his entire team is just different forms of Rodom. This actually makes for a very difficult fight. Finding a team that can deal with six different electric types that all have good coverage is super difficult. Dark Gem Thief, let's go. Fuck me. I think Starmie kills this. With Mystic Water, for sure, yeah. Absolutely. Or plus special attack, too. Okay. Rough start, but I guess we essentially got what we needed. Oh, uh, the confusion kind of sucks. Snap out. Don't hit yourself. Easy. Nice. Okay. Okay, Rotom Freeze. Here we go. So I think we can stall this out of Blizzards with Starmie and Hippo done. Maybe should have brought Protect- oh, it's Glaciate, actually. This is really scary. I think I go Hippo into Lantern here. See how much that does. Okay, we're good. We're dead to crit. But I, I don't think I can play around it. Slow Volt Switch into, into Scald should do it, I think. Just don't get fully paralyzed and don't get crit here. Okay, perfect. Dude, Slow Volt Switch is so good. Hell yeah. Rotom Wash. Thunderbolt. Nice. It's fine. Don't paralyze. So if Thunder did that, I think I live Shadow Ball, right? Non-crit, for sure. Gotta go for the Leaf Blade here. Okay, that's actually fine. Hit, nice. Excellent. Really good. Could have switched Manip there into a Thunderbolt. But I want to keep... Ah, uh, yeah, I probably should have sent in... Um, yeah, I definitely should have sent in Starmie there into Hippo. That was a mistake. Same what Hurricane does. Oh, that's a two hit. Okay. Well. Sure hope uh, it misses its next Hurricane. Manectric is kind of low, but... Let's see. We might even be able to pivot. If he misses Hurricane, that's really big. Probably dead to crit. Oh, it's raining. He can't miss. yeah. yeah. This outspeeds everything now. This is so scary. This is so fucking scary. Ah, oh, shit. Um. Starmie takes a Thunderbolt, I think. But not if I switch it into a Hurricane. I have to sack. The question is who? Because Manectric is actually kind of important for Skyla. Um. I guess Lantern not as much. I guess Lantern's dying. Rip. Oh, I fucked up so hard when I didn't switch Manip there. I might live that. Rain over. Shouldn't really matter. I guess. It matters in the sense that my Skull doesn't do as much damage, but it should be a 2 at KO, and I should live one Thunderbolt. Oh my god, Starmie! What a fucking legend. That was probably a range. Oh. Pretty sure he uses a random move here. Ugh. Oh. That Scald Burn was really, really good. That shit was so good. 
Holy shit. <sighs> okay. Oh, that Rotom... That was the first time that Rotom fan got actually scary. Ooh, he lives. That was a range. Can still die. Nice. Oh, man. Rip Lantern, I guess. The Lantern, without Volt Absorb, it's not too useful. And if it had Volt Absorb, it would have been insane in this fight. Skyla is not only the gate to late game, but also one of the biggest run killers in the game. She has an insane lineup of flying types in a triple battle, which are incredibly hard to navigate in Nuzlocke's. You need to have super aggressive strategies and think about so many options each turn. Flying types have an inherent advantage though, because they can reach the whole field and her lineup is stacked with high quality Pokemon. There are so many interesting strategies to use for this fight, and here's what we did. <sighs> Discharge, Electric Gem, Helping Hand. Pog, exactly how we expected it. Okay. Easy. Okay, Swana on the right. Gliscor on the left. Archaeops in the middle. I think I double protect the sides here. And just discharge again. Okay, Archaeops is in Defeatist. Yep, he attack. Uh... Perfect, perfect, and we take one Earthquake. We can just Sucker Punch the Gliscor with Galvantula and switch Herdier for like, maybe even Granbull here. Okay. Earthquake coming through, that's fine. Could have saved the water gem by going Psy Shock, but didn't want to risk it. Easy! See, that was an incredibly fast and explosive fight, and that's how these triple battles always play out. After this, again, a rotation fight with Sharon guards us from a lot of encounters and a new phase of the game. Whew. Boys, boys, boys. Come on! Got the Intimidate onto Star Raptor. And throw out a Scald. This is gonna survive with Sturdy. Maybe we get the burn though, that would be huge. Didn't even proc the Sturdy. All right, Stealth Rocks is fine. All right, U-turn. That means it won't be intimidated when it comes back. It's kind of scary. Simisage, all right. I'm just gonna keep, keep attacking with Kingdra. I'm gonna Dragon Pulse here. Nice. The Raptor's back, now with full attack. I don't like this. I'm just gonna Dragon Pulse. Okay. This is so scary. We should take one though. Yeah. Uh, I think we rotate to Stoutland. Stoutland be kinda bulky though. Okay. And now I got a Discharge. Nice. Very good. So Scald kills two Pokemon here. Seems really good. If he goes to Simisage, I don't think he can kill. Oh wait, man. Strapter's faster. I'm fucking dumb. I just lost my Kingdom for no reason. Okay. It'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> I guess Stoutland was the play, until Staraptor is gone. Ooh, Retaliate. True, 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 true. Fine. Crit. Never punished. Ooh. <sighs> Losing Kingdra is a big fucking deal. We can get Dragonite for Gym 8. Fulfills the same purpose. After this fight, I'm feeling kind of down about the run, because our encounter quality really is not great anymore, 
it's well below average, and the only reason we're this far is because of our good RNG in the mid game. We now have access to an incredibly huge part of the map with Surf though, giving us a total of 12 new encounters. Here's everything that we got. Adamant Gyarados. And I'm pretty sure Rattle turns into Moxie. Corsola, plus special defense, natural cure, not even regenerator. God, this thing is garbage. The electrode, static, neutral nature. All right, I mean, we take those. Kangaskhan, minus special attack, plus special defense, early bird. Uh, neutral nature dino, okay, okay. We got the plus speed Gabite. Sneasel, neutral nature technician. Oh shit, boys. Hell yeah. Stunfisk, minus special attack limber. That's pretty terrible. Ooh, holding a black sludge immediately. Oh my god, jolly toxicroak, boys. I just came in my pants. Forewarn barboach, neutral nature. Boring. Oh my god, plus speed Gengar. <laughs> what is going on? Holy shit. Plus speed Kadabra, what the fuck? What is going on? This is the run, boys. This is the run. We just turned this shit around. All right. Let's do this. So the plan is as follows. This Glaceon is what's gonna help us win this fight. It's got a choice scarf and it's got Blizzard. If we lock it into using Blizzard with its choice scarf and then get rid of its Blizzard PP, this Glaceon is basically non-existent for this fight, just using struggle, and we can focus down the right side. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do this turn is we're gonna protect with Hydreigon, and we're gonna have Gabite do some damage to Obama Snow and then die. Excellent damage. Glaceon Blizzards, all according to plan. Perfect. And now we go Gengar, and here's where the real magic happens. We flash cannon to kill the Obama Snow, and we spite the Glaceon, getting rid of all of its Blizzard PP. Ooh, no, this is bad. Hydreigon is actually faster than Gengar. That was not supposed to happen. It's fine, we'll figure it out. There's the Frostless. Okay, so this is a problem. Because Hail is currently up, this Frostlass has Snow Cloak, so we might miss on it. The idea was to Rain Dance with Gengar to get rid of the Hail, but because Gengar is slower, that's not gonna work. So we Dark Pulse the Frostlass, and we Rain Dance. Wonderful. Absolutely beautiful. I think I Dark Pulse here, right? Dark plus Pulse plus Strength should kill this. Yeah, exactly, because if this dies to strength, then Glaceon doesn't eat a flash cannon, but it eats a dark pulse. That's the idea. Oh, it might still die to struggle, though. Okay, this is really awkward. This is so bad. <laughs> you have no idea how bad this is. So Berta can kill Weavile and Cryogonal can kill Hydreigon, and we can't one-shot either of these with any of my Pokémon. The Cryogonal can't really hurt Weavile. So if I go into something, I can kill Bear Tick and protect the Weavile, and then we kill the Bear Tick next turn. We can then kill the Cryogonal. This is the play. Nice. Really good blitz. And the Rock Slide miss. Perfect. Oh, this is so good. Judging from our previous calcs, I think it's close. But if Drain Punch kills, I should switch Weavile for, like, Starmie here. I don't think Drain Punch kills. I don't think it kills. I'm Brick Breaking. Hidden Power. What type is that? I have no idea. Oh, wow. Good job, Cryo. <laughs> you did it, dude. Amazing. Fucking easy! Let's go! Everything went wrong. Well, not everything, but a couple things went wrong. And we still edged it out with zero deaths. Holy shit. If we beat this, this is essentially our second furthest attempt. Psychic the Mian Chao, Bug Buzz the Musharna, Fake out the Persian. So it can't fake us out. 
some pretty good damage. Easy cheesy. Easy cheesy. Okay, let's see who he sends out, but no matter which two Pokemon come out here, we should be able to beat them. Samurott plus Simusir. Perfect. Alright, we Scald the Simusir, and we Thunder the Samurott. Damn, that kills. Holy shit. And Scald. Rain boosted. This is always going to kill. Now, all that's left is Lilligant, Bug Buzz... Ice Punch. So fucking free. So fucking free. Drayden is incredibly difficult, right? The dragon type gym leader in this game. No, he's not. He's really not. He's the easiest gym leader in the game. Rotation f battles can be pretty easy after all, if all of the Pokemon are weak to the same type. All right. Let's start off with a nice dose of fake out. Why the hell not? All right, can I beat this with my eyes closed? That's what I want to know. That's Charizard. Did it try to belly drum and it failed? I think that's what happened, right? That was uh, Drudagon. That's Salamence. That was Salamence, I guess. I want to say Haxorus because I can't identify the cry. Nice. That was probably Haxorus. Okay, he rotated. Oh, that's Flygon? That's. Like, that's Kingdra, Kingdra. And now only Charizard left, right? Easy. Easy, boys. After another easy Charon fight, we get our final late game encounters. And oh boy, are they good. Let's see it. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, so this is actually because of Hypercutter. This is kind of nice for Grimsley, because this is the actual counter to Thunderwave Charm Prankster Lipard. This is the final encounter of the attempt, boys. Let's get it. How am I this lucky? What is going on? Serious. Pressure. Kind of cringe to get pressure over Defiant. But this thing is still pretty fucking insane. We head into the Elite Four, which are all double battles. After a meticulous planning session, here's how these double battles went. We got Night Slash, we got Dark Pulse. What else do we possibly need? Okay. The only issue with this sweep is that if we kill the Jellicent with our Hydreigon, it might proc Cursed Body on our Dark Pulse, but that should be completely fine because by that time her team is so destroyed that it shouldn't matter. We're gonna Night Slash the Drift Blim, we're gonna Dark Pulse the Golurk. It's going down so slow, but it is enough. Easy. Chandelure should die to a Night Slash and Jealous into a Dark Pulse. Nice. Okay. Jealous is bulky as fuck, but Life Orb Hydreigon is a fucking monster. And lastly, we have Miss Magius and Frostlass. Dark Pulse the Miss Magius. How did I get a life orb? You can steal them off of Wild Cladle. No cursed body proc. Everything completely according to plan. That is a much better start 
than we had last time. Yeah, it's Caitlyn. This is who fucked us last time. So this Musharna has Psy Shock and then Reflect, Light Screen, and Trick Room. Taunt the Musharna and it can literally do nothing. Double Dark Type lead. So this Gothitelle... Oh, I fucked up. It's fine. We can probably kill this. I didn't teach X Scissor. I fucked up. This is probably still dead though. Life Orb. Easy. Okay. I don't think I needed that crit. <sighs> All good. All good. Oh, that's so close. Okay. This is pretty bad. We gotta use the heat. We gotta use the turn that she's healing Bronzong though, and taunt before she can set up the second screen. Light screen. Okay. Oh God. The problem is, if Reuniclus goes in, I can just switch in Weavile the turn I killed Bronzong. I think. This has Earthquake. Gyro Ball. I think Gliscor actually does fine here. This is why having Protect on Gliscor would be nice, I guess. Okay, Musharna wants to Psy Shock the Gliscor. Fuck, Protect would be so good here. I guess we can U turn and take a Gyro Ball. Do we take a Psy Shock, though, is the question. This court dies here, this is so bad. Yeah, nice. Taunt Musharna. Kill the Bronzong. We're back in business. <sighs> Holy shit! Reading kills dies to Dark Pulse. Just, um... Need to taste, waste a turn with Weavile. Oh, I thought that would kill. Oh god, this is so bad. I just need to kill the Reuniclus. Just Dark Pulse it. Completely fine. I need to kill something. Um, I think killing Behem is correct, so I can go back into Weavile. Wait, this has energy ball? Fuck me. <sighs> Dude, Gliscor is such a monster though. Holy fuck. Nice. So easy. So easy. There's no way I'm gonna fuck the next fight up like that, right? There's no possible way. So the sock has sturdy, right? And his Breloom has a focus sash. Now, how do we deal with that? Easy. We sandstorm. Protect the Alakazam from payback. Flinging the flame orb. Cringe. Wait, what? Oh god, I had no idea that's how it works. Well, we're fucked, boys. Good luck. <sighs> yep. Cock. Critical on Alakazam. You love to see it. Oh, that doesn't two shot. Maybe after Sandstorm? <sighs> Fuck me. Oh god. I think I double protect for some more Sandstorm damage on throw. So we can guarantee the kill. I really hope this kills. Holy shit. I really fucking hope this kills or we're fucked. Okay. 
please. Okay. Oh, mock punch from Conkeldur is so scary. Dude, everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. I didn't think fling at all. Alakazam is kind of allowed to die, but it would be really cool if he could take Conkeldur with him. I don't think Gliscor gets mock punched here. I think we U-turn it. I guess we can scout, but it might be RNG dependent anyway. Oh god, dude. Okay, Berlin wants to... What the fuck is going on? Okay... Okay... How does the AI save me every single time, dude? Okay? I mean... I... Yeah? Nice poison. If I had crit, might do it, right? No, no way. See you later, bitch. <laughs> How is that a zero death fight? My Gliscor got burned. Well, time for Grimsley to throw something at me that I wasn't expecting or for me to completely misplay the fight. One of the two is gonna happen for sure, right? Lipard Sharpedo. So the plan here is to blow the fuck up out of these guys. Neither of those care if Lipard pranks or charms or pranks or thunder waves. The worst that could happen here is Lipard Sucker Punch crits the Gliscor and Sharpedo Aqua Jet crits it. I think that kills. Good start. That's why we brought the Cherry Berry. Easy. And this should kill. Houndoom, okay, expecting that. Honchcrow. I think the discharge on this Honchcrow is a range. However, I need to go for it because I need to break the sash on Houndoom. Paralyze the Houndoom doesn't matter. Paralyze the Honchcrow though? Nope. I could Earthquake the Bisharp. It can't do anything to Gliscor. And Honchcrow is getting healed this turn. So I can EQ protect this turn. I think I got an EQ Volt Switch. Maybe Honchcrow dies. I can't go Weavile, because he wants to Stone Edge the Galvantula. Nice. I think this kills. Not even close. Switch into Croak, because this is never Psycho Blading, Psycho Cutting. Nice. And now we, I'm pretty sure um, Croak is faster. Oh, that, oh, crit. Easy. And that's the Elite Four, boys! It's how you do it! Zero deaths! What the fuck is up? This is now officially my furthest attempt because my, because one of my attempts died to the fourth Elite Four member. I've never seen this point, this part of the game at this point. The only things standing in our way are Rashiran and and Getsis. Oh my god, dude. It's gonna Dragon Pulse crit immediately. Please, just catch it, dude. Nope. Okay. Yes! 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 I fucking hate you. Fine. That's a crit. You love to see it, boys. We got this. He's gonna- dude, he's gonna pick off one after the other. He's gonna pick off one after the other. Crit capture again? One? 
It's that easy, dude. It's that fucking easy. Just let me do that. We're not adding Rashiram because we're not fucking cheaters. Even though the game fucking cheated us. Oh no, it's a Zaycrom, guys. Pokemo S. All right, good luck. No accuracy drop. Okay, we're in this. We're in this. We're in this. 100% in this. 100% in this. Protect for leftovers here. Just waterfall. See ya. Going straight for the Zekrom, huh? Alright. Okay, dude, 40% accuracy drop on that night gaze to lose the game. <laughs> to just lose the run, 100%. This is flash fire. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. All right, gets us. You motherfucker. Oh shit, boys. Do we EQ? Or do we D dance? That is the question. I think if we D-dance, we die to Sniper Crit. And it's Scope Lens Night Slash. Oh, I'm Leftovers, right? Yeah, I need to D-dance to kill this, never mind. Just don't get crit. <laughs> Dude, the AI! What are you doing, bro? Oh. Let's see how many free kills we get off of this. Dude, watch out. The toxic spikes are gonna fuck us. Dude, we're so far ahead. There's no way we lose. Never punished, boys. Okay. He heals here a hundred percent, right? Regardless, I flamethrower. Fucking easy gets us. God, why do we need 41 attempts for this fucking game? Holy shit, dude. Ooh, the cursed body. That doesn't matter at all, actually. It's like, not whatsoever. <sighs> Alright, the mirror. I have EVs out the ass. This guy's fucked. The Snivy run, boys. How many attempts have we wasted using Tepig? Thunder Wave. Oh, yeah, he does have that. This can't even damage me. This is it. Crit into fully, fully paralyzed. He could also flinch, right? And we win. Blaze Black is over! Holy shit, when the fuck did we even start this game? When did we start this game? Like a year ago? Honestly, all in all, this was a fantastic ROM hack. This was the most fun I've had with a Diana ROM hack. I thought the early game was really, really interesting. Mid game had a lot of cool encounters. Cool strats with doubles. All double battle elite four is cool as fuck. Everyone say goodbye to N. Congrats, man. You're not gonna see him for a long time. Subscribe 
you might think that you're subscribed, but you're not. Only like 10% of the people that watch my videos are actually... Click, click, click the button, okay? And uh, leave a like and a comment or something. I don't know. Uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.